<laughs> okay. That's what the, what the, in the computer shows, yeah, and everybody knows. Here is the graph in the computer, and uh, this part here, the left part here, this, uh, this uh, thing is... <laughs> okay. the, and then the, this part, <laughs> let's say this part here, this part here is, is the prequel, yeah. yeah, you circulate the mixture to the to to, to the precool line. This is a block in every stage, and then after uh, the temperature achieved ten Kelvin, ten Kelvin, ten Kelvin, mm -hmm. and then we we pump everything out in the tank, and then you begin to circulate to this side here. This is the dilution refrigerator itself. You begin to circulate here. Depends of temperature. You speak gas if it's, let's say, above 4, 4 4.2 Kelvin, about, you speak about the liquid below because yeah, yeah. Uh, a helium or a mixture will be begin to be liquid at 4.2 4 mm -hmm. Kelvin. Yeah, mm -hmm. for, uh, and to be more specific, helium 4 will be liquid at 4.2, helium 3 will be liquid at 3.2. Mm -hmm. You can imagine if it's 4. Point, uh, or 3.8, you have liquid helium 4. Can you speak and, uh, one? Please! <laughs> As I said, below 4.2 helium 4 is liquid, yeah, and below 3.2 helium 3 is liquid. In this between part, you have a helium 4 with some helium 3 gas, yeah. You have to imagine some, and the below 3.2 is everything liquid, yeah, and the below 800, yeah, because you have liquid helium 3 and helium 4, but it's everything together, you cannot see like. Oil and water, water. Because mm -hmm. if you have oil and water, is here. What I see here, oil is below here. Below yeah? below 800, below 800 and the helium three begin to to, to 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 separate from helium four. Then you have a, a phase with helium three, and the, in the bottom you have helium four. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, but uh, uh, the the mm -hmm. physics or uh, the nature makes something very nice. The helium three can go up, and the uh, and there's almost let's say pure. Mm -hmm. And the, the helium four is is there, but it's not completely pure. There's this helium yeah, four and some so atoms serious. from helium three is there, mm -hmm. and this is the, our luck. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if you don't mm -hmm. if you don't have that, you could not have a dilution refrigerator working. Because it's exactly what I showed before. These are two phases here. Here, if you have a, here pure helium four and here pure helium three, yeah, nothing will helium, happen. Yeah, helium, helium, because you have some. Mm -hmm. Because I have a helium three on the bottom a little bit, I can pump the helium three out mm -hmm. in the helium four because you have this uh, va vapor pressure. Yeah, from helium four, and, helium three, and then you have the cooling exactly in this uh, border. Between helium three and the helium four. Why are they separated? Why are they separated? Helium four and helium three. Is it like? Uh, is it like? Uh, uh, because helium three is lighter than helium four. Helium three is lighter than helium four. Yeah, and, uh, and that is like as I said. That's why you make all the time the comparison with oil and water. I know that's the real is not so good, but helium three is lighter. If it's lighter, we'll floating over the helium four. Is there, you know? Yeah, and that's why it happened that the helium three will be on the top, yeah, that and uh, the helium four will be on the on the on the bottom. Yeah? Mm -hmm. It's like that. And the, the tube that we pump is possible to see is it's a lower. You come, you pump out the bottom, the top, the bottom phase. You see here. You pump out there the bottom phase. You see the tube come down because if you have, of course if this tube will go come on the top, you will pump helium three, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, but in the other side, the helium three is come because you remove the helium three and put the helium three again, yeah. And the helium three comes in the helium three pure phase, yeah. And you pump out the helium four or a helium four or a helium three 
Uh, yes, the LN3, yeah. We call it here about the dilute phase and concentrate phase. Yeah, you will see if you see the drawing, the concentrate phase is the phase pure from helium 3, and the dilute phase is the phase from helium 4 with uh, dilute atoms from helium 3. That's it. And uh, okay, using this, you can cool down them from let's say 4 Kelvin down. Then we have this uh, phase boundary, the helium 3 and the helium 4. Uh, separate and then you circulate and the temperature come down 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 and then you achieve here 8 millikelvin yeah theoretically you could go probably to 2 millikelvin uh, the, the the limits in the temperature somebody asked yesterday how much in temperature you come you could come I down mean, yeah depends of course the, from the um, from the outside how many heat load you have in the system as well because if, if you have a uh, uh, cables coming down and uh, it's a lot of uh, let's say the external wood is important also to have uh, uh, the lowest temperature if you can isolate if, if you can isolate more and more the mixing chamber uh, is it will be better but um, uh, the lowest temperature that I heard about Some only only using a dilution fridge was 2 millikelvin yeah but uh, we can go by micro kelvin if you use another method uh, we use the dilution fridge with the magnetical uh, uh, the, the magnetization yeah but then you can go to micro kelvin but only dilution fridge you cannot go to micro kelvin yeah you have this a limit and then you they put this magnetization in the mixing chamber you have the mixing chamber they put all this uh, copper cell there yeah it's a huge thing and then they can go there and they go um, lower in temperature. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this. Uh, ah, yeah, this uh, This uh, I don't know. I, I, I expect more questions. <laughs> I don't know more. <laughs> I don't know if you have questions because uh, I don't know much more. I can explain much, much more, but I need, of course, uh, questions. Some to, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. In the in the manual, by the way, this manual he is really very good. He explain about everything about low temperatures. Yeah. And uh, they speak about dilution refrigerator, about helium three systems. Here they show also this. Uh, phase from helium-3 separate from helium-4 that's really a very good for the students and so and the, uh, it's very nice okay it's in English yeah but uh, they don't speak mo much about with formals they, they 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 write a lot they try to explain everything only speaking yeah yeah and that's really nice uh, they, they speak about uh, for example here the nuclear demagnetization system if you want to go lower in temperature they speak about magnets yeah if you have a magnet there because you can put a magnet there yeah superconductive magnet and you can have a higher field there you have systems for example that you can go to 18 tesla as well okay you have 10 millikelvin and 18 tesla mm -hmm. this is really very 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 popular yeah? people want to to have low in temperature and the maximum in field yeah so this is a board physics from limits you know that you have you want to have everything the maximum you know? mm -hmm. and uh, this is a book here is really what, what about cables can we move microwaves inside and how many DC cables are there? Yeah, and at this at moment is this, you have uh, 48 uh, constant cables yeah, mm -hmm. from the top to the mixing chamber mm -hmm. for your experiment. Mm -hmm. You have so more cables. Just, just DC? Just DC, there yeah. No yeah. It's nothing, microwave. it's no microwave cables, no coax cables. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have people they buy directly from Oxford yeah, mm -hmm. and also install that. And uh, most of people they want to make themselves. You can just open. You have on the top a lot of ports. Uh -huh. You can just open this port and connect the cable. You have to be in your head, of course. If you put the cable, you have heat load on the mixing chamber. Sure. You have to try to attach the cable good in every stage mm -hmm. to try to minimize. Because if you go directly from room temperature to, sure, to sure, 10 sure. Kelvin, <laughs> sure. and then sure. uh, so normally just many connections to the. Oh, yes, exactly, to the plates, to, 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 to the plates, yeah, to yeah. The and then uh, you should, should be okay. I have one system in the US, I think they put, 
four microwave cables. I yeah, think we, we need four for some purposes. Yeah, and uh, the temperature increase from uh, so circa uh, eight millikelvin to eleven point something millikelvin. To eleven, just just three millikelvin. Three millikelvin. Yeah. Absolutely. But uh, then they they after uh, they, I test that. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then after that they told me they put more eight or a. Uh, uh, 16 coax cables as well yeah no, every time if you begin incredible. to put more the temperature begin to increase yeah yes, yeah yes, but they have yes, one guy they have i think uh, 16 quax and these lines and they could have 24 millikelvin i think it's still very good yeah because uh, the quantity of cables that they have as far there, as i know uh, possible tasks which we will solve here i think 50 uh, millikelvin will be fine okay Okay. But they as said so in the top, we, we have a lo lot of, I mean, uh, a large, large room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Space you have enough. In the uh -huh. top you have also a lot of plates. Mm -hmm. You can just remove the plate or make holes to the plate. Of course, you have to be tight yeah, because the vacuum inside. And uh, and then just connect in every stage uh, to some thermal connection, and then should be no problem. Yeah. Uh, do you have a special leads for this thermal connection, or we can do ourselves? Because in usual cryo starts, we just how to say use some copper yeah i think copper is uh, of course uh, begin to be critical because what are you i don't know exactly uh, for which measure you are making but uh, um you uh, i have customers they have uh, tried to make copper wire and then they have to make thinner than thinner than possible because if you put a copper wire from room temperature to the mixing chamber you warm the mixing chamber too no, much yeah? i mean no, no. Co but copper no, not cables cables of course <laughs> shouldn't be <laughs> copper i mean uh, these contacts yeah. uh, to the plates from the cable ah, oh, to the yeah plates. yeah with copper uh, and i have some people they try to attach with uh, some uh, um, some copper silver wire you know ah, copper silver. silver wire i think so, it's quite expensive I think it's not so much. Yeah, I think a uh, really good good contact. If you begin to, it will be with platinum or something like that. That's really <laughs> very expensive. But I think the copper copper with silver is not so expensive. But they try to to couple that. Yeah, and there's many people who use coax cables. They mm -hmm. have uh, what they call that attenuators, and they, it's just a plate with mm -hmm. this, um, let's say, bypass. You have to imagine mm -hmm. very uh, normal ordinary connection from coax. Mm -hmm one side and the other side and this they are attached to our plate yeah mm -hmm. and then you attach this plate to the to mm -hmm. the plate on the cryo yes, yeah. and you for connect from one side the cable to the other contact. side yeah mm -hmm. and uh, these attenuators make this uh this a uh, contact the thermal contact on the cable yeah mm -hmm. it's very important if you don't make that the in the party we try in one of the first things from us to put the coax from the top to the bottom and it was not copper it was stainless mm -hmm. uh, stainless. but you bring well, we bring so much stainless. We, we bring a lot of uh, a lot of uh, I mean, some people using phosphor bronze as well. I think you have phosphor bronze. This is not so bad because.